Okay, uh, welcome. This is going to be a quick video. Um, we bought one of these cooker tops. It's been installed for a year now. Now, the manufacturer's recommendations is that we change out the filter every three to five years. Now, a wee bit of a backstory here. Uh, we started noticing the, the water tasting slightly different when we were making cups of tea. And we thought it was a filter, but as it turned out, it was a tea box. Do today is we'll go ahead, we'll disassemble the the filter from the cooker unit, and we'll have a look inside. Now the video is not to show you how to disassemble it. The video is to show you what the filter looks like after a year, and if the manufacturer is right in saying three to five years. Anyway, let's go on with it. Now let's have a quick look at the cooker unit boiler housing. Um, there's a socket, pipe work. Now I did, I did install a wee cover here, just to kind of make it a little bit wee bit nicer. And if you look here, I've made some vent holes at the top. It's just held in there with some magnets. Just there she goes. So, there we go, that was handy. <coughs> I taped a little spanner on there for future reference, which we'll need. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll go ahead, drain it, and get it out of there. Okay, that's it out. That literally took 10 minutes, and that was including going back and forth to the garage for some tools. So we'll get this opened up and get a look inside. Okay, here's a moment of truth. Uh, everything's unbolted. We just need to lift this out and see how much uh, a year's worth of crud buildup we've got. Well, I'll be honest, that's a year. I wouldn't want to leave it three year. Okay, that's me ready to scoop out the crud, lime scale, whatever you want to call it at the bottom. Let's have a quick look in here. Nah, not very appetising. Probably worthwhile changing it every year after that then. Because there's a, a wee bit of lime scale in the bottom of there, I'm going to use these Steridant tablets. See what happens. I use it in uh, vacuum flasks, stainless steel cups and stuff, with tea stains, and it works a treat on that. So, uh, plus, because it's for dentures, I can't see it doing any damage to the stainless steel in there. We'll give it a go. We'll leave that for 5-10 minutes. Okay, that's the heating element all cleaned up. Tubes all cleaned up. New filter installed. 
new gasket put on. This just came up nice. There's no staining in the bottom of there. It's all nice and smooth. Cleaned up the sealing surface as well for the new gasket. So we'll put this back together, see how it performs. Well, that went together a lot easier than I thought it would. Absolutely no problems, everything's snug. So the next step is uh, getting back under here and hooked up. That's it back in, took about five minutes. Uh, hooked up, purged through. Uh, what you've got to do to purge it is you switch it on, but you don't switch it on there. You operate the top. That bleeds out the cylinder, and once all the bubbles and some stop at the top, you then switch it on. Okay, everything's in and installed. It's now been heating up for about 20 minutes. Uh, all back to normal under there. I also changed out the, the aerator as well. I bought a new one at the same time, so I'm just soaking that. Keep that as a spare now. Uh, light's going off, so this will be the first boil going through the top. We'll leave it at that and uh, we'll let it boil again. Job took about 90 minutes start to finish. The Cooker High Tech Filter cost £25 and it's available on their website on their service shop. A recommended replacement is 3 to 5 years but I'll definitely be changing ours every 12 months going forward. Thank you very much and I hope that helps.